Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Mr. Crazy Gamer 13 right there. And I have with me It's Dr. Eggman! Wait, never mind, it's just the guy who voices him. Don't be frightened. <laughs> yeah, I was I was just making a joke there. Anyway, this is my first ever interview with Well, anyone really. And if you like this, of course, you know what? I'm just going to save that all for the end of the video, so... Anyway, let's get on with this. Question 1. How did you get picked for the role of Eggman? There is a very long involved audition process. I was called in, I was already uh, voicing some stuff for Four Kids Productions, for Ultimate Muscle and Kirby Right Back At Ya, and... Uh, the uh, dem dubbing Sonic X came along, and they uh, recommended me as being uh, the guy to choose for Dr. Eggman. So they had me audition, and then they sent the samples to Sega. Sega was not convinced. They brought me back in again. They said, here, read some more. Uh, then I think there's maybe one more round of callbacks after that before Sega finally got the idea and gave me the gig, which was very cool. Hmm. Okay. Question two. What's it like working with the other four kids' voice actors? I generally don't work with them because we tend to record separately, but in the uh, few times that I have been lucky to do an ensemble recording, it's great fun. Um, it's great to interact with live people instead of just pre-recorded people or not yet recorded people. But as far as seeing them when we're not recording, they're all a swell bunch of, uh, of folks who I love to see whenever possible, and that's usually not often enough. Oh. Right, good to know. <laughs> anyway, do you think Dr. Eggman is as crazy as his he sounds? Uh, he's not crazier. He's not crazy, he's genius. No, that's true. It is a very fine line between genius and crazy. <laughs> okay, question four. What was the first Sonic game you voiced Eggman in? Uh, the first game, I believe, was Shadow the Hedgehog. Okay. Question five. What was it like preparing for the anniversary games that Sonic 2006 and Sonic Generations? There's not much prep work. I basically uh, am called into a studio and handed a script. So there's about two minutes of prep time and that's all I get. Alright. Is that all you need? Generally. Sometimes I don't even need that much. Depends on the material. Okay. Question seven. Did you have... Sorry. Question six. <laughs> sorry about that. No problem. Was it sad to see the to see the other vo four kids voice actors leave after the release of Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing? I had mixed emotions because uh, I was obviously still doing stuff and they weren't, but they're still still doing other stuff. So it's not like they've left my uh, immediate sphere of influence because I still see them around um, at all manner of other various recordings and other events. Um, but yeah, it's weird not to be appearing in the same s Sonic stuff with them, but that's up to Sega. Okay. Question 7. Did you ever play Sonic games during the 90s? I'm not a gamer. I knew of Sonic's existence, I recognized the name, I think I knew of Dr. Eggman's existence, but I'm just, the, the only game that I played as a child other than Pong when it first came out on TV, if that even counts as a game anymore, was Trivia Wiz. Uh, an old, uh, lame trivia arcade game that I played so often that I memorized all the questions and rose to the top of the leader fortune. So you were the expert at that game? Yeah, I'm an expert in that. Oh, I've asked this question and answered it uh, seven times, so I've learned the answer by now. So, yes, I, a, a true educator might argue that that's not exactly learning. That's, uh, that's uh, it's Pavlovian response, but it worked for me. Okay, question A. If you could voice any other video game character besides Eggman, who would it be? Um, I don't know that I have a specific preference because I just love working, so any voice, uh, any video game that would hire me for pretty much anything, I do. Okay, question 10. Wait, no, scratch that. You haven't really played any Sonic games, so that would be pointless. It was what's your favorite Sonic game, but never mind. Anyone I'm in. Sorry? Anyone I'm in. Uh, <laughs> so that would be from Shadow the Hedgehog to Sonic Generation so far. Right. Well, actually no. Shadow the Hedgehog to Mario and Sonic at the Olympic... London 2012 Olympics. 
Right. So, question 11. How long have you been working with Sega? Uh, I've been voicing, with uh, starting with Sonic X, which was technically not Sega itself, but through four kids, uh, since 2004, 2005. Okay. And question number 12, final question. What's your favorite Dr. Eggman quote? Uh, that's an interesting question. I don't have a favorite quote so much as a favorite moment. And that was in uh, an episode of Sonic X when uh, he breaks character and answers a phone call from a viewer. And uh, the phone rings and he picks it up with a hearty, Hello? That amused me. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, anyway, that's all the questions done. I'd like to thank Mr. Mike Pollock for, in for agreeing to do this interview. Thanks for asking. Ah, my pleasure. So anyway, could you just finish off with like maybe a little line, uh, like maybe a little sort of impression of Dr. Eggman? I could do something kind of generic because otherwise uh, Sega would be uh, on my tail, but I can say, I'm Dr. Eggman! You do sound like him, actually. You that's do. that's the idea. <laughs> okay, so anyway, thank you for this interview. This is Mr. Crazy Gamer Thirteen and Mr. Mike Pollock saying, "Word out." Bye. -bye.